Hello there. In today's video, I'd like to show you some tips of using the calendar integration of our planners. Our planners generally come with two options of calendar integration, Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. You might wonder what if I want to connect to my outer calendar? The short answer is yes, and it's more than just connecting to Outlook, and I'll walk you through how to do so. But unfortunately, this only works with Apple devices for now. If you haven't watched our video about how the calendar integration works, check out that video first before today's video. You can find this video link in the description. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to add the Outlook account to the iPad. Go to Settings. Search for Calendar. Over here, tap Calendar Accounts and you'll see your iCloud account and any other accounts you have previously added like Gmail. Tap Add Account, Outlook.com. Follow the prompt to add your Outlook account. Make sure you sign into the account that you want to connect the Outlook calendar and you'll see these set of options. Make sure the calendar is on and save. Now you can see the Outlook account we just added is right here. You can always go in to change these options. Essentially, when it's on, that means the data of this option is into your Apple account. Also, you want to make sure the fetch new data is on. So it's all either push or fetch. And fetch is automatically. Now let's go back to calendar and tap the default calendar or you can just search for default calendar here choose the outer calendar then the planner calendar integration will be connected to your outer calendar essentially Whichever calendar you choose as your default, it's the one that the event will be scheduled to when you use the calendar links in the planner. So make sure you choose the one you want it to connect to and return to calendar or just close settings to make sure the change is applied. Now let's go over to the planner. An important thing I want to point out here is that make sure you choose to download the planner with the Apple Calendar integration because we need the Apple Calendar links to make this work. Tap a time slot on a daily page to pull up the calendar schedule panel. You can see the calendar option here is now set to the outer calendar. Actually, you can always change the calendar you want to save the event to through this option. The rule of thumb is to set the default calendar to the one you mostly use. It can be your Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, Outer Calendar, or whatever calendar you use. And when you need to add events to a different calendar, simply change it here. Okay. That's how you enable our calendar integration in our planners on iPad. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the calendar integration or any suggestions about planners. Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us keep making more tutorials. Thank you so much for supporting Forty Two Line. I'll see you in my next video.